Welcome to this short video on create pipes from lines command as part of the Jacobi toolkit for Civil 3D. In Civil 3D right now, you can convert a polyline or a line into a pipe, but you can only do one at a time. So you do the next one, now you got a different network. And so what we wanted to do was be able to take a bunch of them and turn them all into one network. To do this, we're gonna come up here to our Kobe Toolkit ribbon. We're gonna select Convert Lines to Pipes. I'm gonna go Convert Lines to Pipes. Command line says select your line, polyline, or arc. So I'm just gonna window everything here. This dialog box comes up so it knows what network I'm gonna add it to. If I didn't have any networks in there, it'd automatically be called Network 1, and then I could rename that. It's gonna be Storm Sewer. Uh, the pipes to create, I'm going to say, let's throw in some concrete pipes and let's throw in some 24 inch pipe. Uh, the structures I'm going to create, I'm going to throw in here, let's go this uh, concentric structure, 48 inch. And then the intermediate structures, I could put in something else like a uh, rectangular junction if I wanted to, so 24 by 24. I can specify the layers. In this drawing, I don't have a surface, but I can specify the surface and alignment. I'm going to erase the existing entities, and I am going to use the vertex um, elevations, just like in Civil 3D. And I'll say those are the outside top of the pipe, those pipe, or those elevations. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go OK. And what's happening now, it's going to convert all of those into pipes, but it doesn't mess with the one structures that I already had in my model. It knew that they were already there, so it left those alone, but it went through and created these three new ones along with all the pipes. And to verify this, I'm just gonna come up here and use our structure editor, and I'm just gonna select one of these structures here. And there it comes up and it shows us the inverts of all those pipes. So use those polylines. And so now I could quickly go in and edit these. Go ahead and exit out of that. This concludes this short video on Convert Lines to Pipes. I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.